I'm taking you around the world to the French Riviera. I'm on the beach with my brother Ross, and we have two paddles and a ball. Our goal was to hit this back and forth over a hundred times consecutively without dropping it. We tried for over two hours, and then finally we started to get on a roll and got 156 hits. And just then, my brother missed it. Do you think that I was disappointed when he dropped the paddle? Not at all. We just shattered our record. And plus, I was overjoyed because we had shared a great experience together. Speaking of great experiences, I'm going to take you back around the world to California, and now I'm on the golf course with my brother. We were on the last hole, and he had the most amazing shot. From 50 yards out, he chipped it up onto the green, and it rolled right into the cup. Do you think I was disappointed when he dropped that ball? Not at all. Obviously, I congratulated him because he had just finished the course. That happened six years ago, and little did I know that the course of my life was about to change too. A few months later, I was in my college dorm room, and I heard the phone ring. Have you ever gotten one of those calls? A call that changed your life forever? I picked up the phone and heard my dad on the other, other end of the line. I said, what's wrong, Dad? in his voice. He said, David, I have some very sad news. Ross has just unexpectedly taken his life. I knew that Ross had just dropped the ball. Do you think I was disappointed? time, I felt like he had just ended his game. But for the moment, I was just speechless. All I could do was sit there and cry. But I did do something in the coming weeks that I'll never regret. I went around and I asked people what they had learned when they lost loved ones in their life. And while it is true that time can wear away your tears, I also learned that a little bit of wisdom can help too. You see, I realized that for too long, I had been looking at Ross as a ball. A ball, this physical thing that we carry around with us, that wears out over time and gets battered around, that can scale the heights or fall to the ground. Sometimes, we identify so much with this ball we've been given, we start to think it's who we really are. Sometimes we need to look deeper than that. I had to learn that no matter what the game, whether it be paddle ball or golf or life, I had to stop focusing on the ball and start focusing on the player behind the ball. You see, each of us has an identity, the qualities that make us who we are, and that's actually quite separate from the ball. This identity is the only thing that matters, even though it's not the thing that's mattered. I mean, I can try to crush the ball or smash it against the ground or cut it open, but no matter what I do to it, the player is still intact. And even when the ball's game is over, the player continues. I like to see Ross and the life that he expressed continuing on too. When the physical image of Ross finally was removed from this world and out of my sight, all that was left for me to see of him was who he truly is. Ross is someone who could make me laugh any day of the week. Ross is someone who changed my life for the better. Ross is someone who I love deeply. 
Ross. 